with the closet and other storage spaces getting tighter for many of us, the last thing you want is for that precious room to be taken up by something you don't even need. Or maybe we do need it. We're talking about boxes and packaging from electronics like a laptop, a phone, or a tablet. Is it okay just to toss those things? 12 Sides Marilyn Morris offers some tips to help you decide when to hold on to them and when to fold them up. One of the first electronic items I remember buying was a clock radio with a cassette player built into it. Chris Raymond has been buying the latest tech gadgets for decades, and most came in a box. You could probably go into any room in the house and open a closet door or look, you know, tuck in one of the corners and you'll find a, a box tucked there for a laptop or a speaker or, uh, or a telephone. So when should you save the box? Consumer Reports says there are some times when it's a no-brainer. Keep the box when there's a chance you might return it. Some stores won't give a full refund without the original packaging, so keep it during the return window, especially for pricey stuff. Another time to keep the box? If it's an item that you think that you might resell, people are much more likely to buy it when it's in the box. Keeping the box while the manufacturer's warranty is in effect might also make it easier if you have to send an item back, though any box will often do for repairs. Saving the box to store a device you don't use often makes sense, or to keep track of its extra parts, like a battery or cord. Uh, that helps you one, you go back and find them, but it also helps you remember what that cord goes to, right? If none applies, he says it's time to toss it and to keep boxes from taking over the house. Anytime you get a new tech toy and need to keep the box, get rid of an old one. Marilyn Moritz, KSET 12 News.